Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm Maria from Little Maria's Crafts, and today I'm going to be painting this heart that I created out of um, scrap pieces of, you know, just random things that I had there in the, in the, my she shed. So, um, for this, I used a little bit of, I guess this is molding. Um, I just had random scrap pieces there and I didn't want to throw them away. So I figured I was going to make something pretty for, uh, my bedroom. And so I made this wall hanging. And what I did was I took the pieces of molding and I just kind of put them all um, together. And I drew out a heart, um, heart shape on them and decided where I was going to cut them before I glued anything down or anything. So once I did, um, once I did that, I just um, went ahead and cut them on my scroll saw. Um, just cut out the shape. And then I took a piece of uh, backer board. This is just a scrap piece also. And what I did was um, I cut out the shape just a tiny bit smaller than, than what my molding was because I didn't want this piece to show at all. This is just going to be the back and it's just for the support just so that I could glue um, my pieces to it. And as you can see, also staple. So I used... Um, wood glue to glue my pieces and um to glue my pieces all together and then i flipped it over and stapled my pieces to uh, stapled my backer board to these pieces so that um it would be um, nice and secure and it wouldn't move around um and then i went ahead and took a little bit of you know uh wood filler and you know, covered up any spots that I had, um, that I had gone through and all that stuff. And I gave it a good sanding. And now I am, um, here I am. This is all I did. Um, so hello everybody. I can't see comments. Let me, um, let me move this. I don't know why I cannot see comments on my, on this front camera. Let me see. Okay, see. Happy Valentine's Day, Marie, and good afternoon, Kendria. Uh, let's see. I don't know why it's not letting me see the comments. Oh, wait. Okay. I don't know what I did. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to have to just look up and see your comments. Okay, so, uh, I love this. Yay. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just didn't want to throw away my pieces. Um, it was just something that, you know, I've been holding on to these pieces for a long time and they were just there in my shed, you know, because I knew I wanted to make something out of it. I did not want to, you know, just throw them away. Good pieces of wood, you know, and so I felt like this was a, nice and easy project and it was just you know something really simple and but it's it's really cute so and then of course a heart shape you know for valentine's day today and then also i'm going to be using this to hang on my in my bedroom you know just um so i think a heart would be appropriate for a bedroom so yeah happy valentine's day christy Thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, good afternoon, Kendria. Okay, I think I already saw all the comments. Okay, so the color that I'm going to be using, I'm not going to be doing a Valentine's Day color because, like I said, this is going to be going in my bedroom. So I want this to be um, something that kind of coordinates in my bedroom. And so most of my bedroom... Um, my blankets and things are a gray, like a dark gray, sort of. So I'm going to be using a little bit of accent with this pewter gray. And then um, 
my accents on there are um, like a lighter turquoise color. So I'm thinking this Key West is going to be really nice. So this is the color that I want it to be. Also, I do have a few accents of like gold and things like that. So I'm going to be adding a little bit of gold, but I really just want this to be kind of rustic. Um, nothing um, too like precise or, you know, nothing too fancy. So as you can see, you know, I still have, you know, holes and things. So I'm sure that's going to come out. I didn't um, fill all my holes perfect, but it's okay because it's just, um, I wanted it to kind of be a little bit rustic. I mean, you can, if you're going to make something like this, then you can go as clean as possible, if, you know, if that's what you like, but this is kind of what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and just paint this. Um, and like, uh, this is Key West um, Apple Barrel. And I love this color. I think it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of it. I also thought about doing it like different shades, like maybe a little, a little bit lighter, like on one uh, thing. You know what? That that might be what I'm gonna do. Just um, do uh, do some a little darker than others. I think that might be what I'm gonna do. That way you can kind of see the different um, wood slats. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to kind of get into the little crevices as well because um, you're going to be able to see them all. So, oh, Happy Valentine's Day, Maria. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of white to my paint to make um, some of it a little bit lighter. I can hear a little bit of an echo, but I don't know how to fix it because I don't want to turn down my mic. I hope you guys are hearing this okay. Sounds good. Okay. I don't hear an echo. Oh, good. Okay, good. Maybe it's just on my end. I usually have to put headphones on one of my screens, so I guess I can probably hear that maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I like this. So yeah, this is, this is, um, I just added a little bit of, of white to my Key West and it's just so that you can see the different, um, like pieces of wood. And I want to make sure I paint all my edges too, because... Remember, you're going to be able to see all this. So what have you guys been up to? Did anybody watch Super Bowl last night? I don't watch football ever. 
but um, we watched yesterday. And um, it was pretty fun. I don't understand the game. That's why I don't ever watch it. And I don't know anything about teams, so I don't have a favorite team. So. We honestly watched because we per we bought some numbers from somebody. So, yeah, we were gambling. So, but we didn't win. That's a bummer, but it's okay. It was still fun. What are they called? Squares? I don't know. Numbers, squares, I don't know what they're called, but you can tell I don't know anything about football or anything, but. And if you notice on the edges, they're a little bit straight right here. It needed a little bit more to be round. But I didn't want to use another piece um, because I didn't want to have to cut that piece in half. Like I don't, I don't, I didn't think it was gonna look good to cut that little piece. Um, like I like the the shape of the um, like the molding and all that. So I didn't think it was gonna look good if I just cut that little piece off. I don't know. I don't know if if it would have or not, but I chose not to do it. But if you want to make one of these um, and you want to leave it and cut it around, that's all up to you. I just thought it was not necessary. You can still tell what it is. I tried kind of rounding off a little bit here in the corners, just a little. And um, I think it looks okay. I'm gonna go underneath a little bit because you can still see the dark from the backer board. I did add a um, a hanger to this. Um, I don't have any any picture frame frame hangers um, at the moment, so I didn't add like a proper one. I just made one out of uh, um, some wire and I stapled it to the back. Um, it's gonna hold pretty good. Um, I do recommend getting the proper hanger for it if you're gonna be making one of these because it's kind of a little bit heavy. That's also why I went with this backer board because um, if I would have used another piece of like um, plywood or something like that, it would have made it really heavy because this is actually pretty heavy. So I didn't want it to be really, really heavy for my wall. Um, you know, just in case it falls or something. It is a pretty heavy piece. This would have been so pretty, like painted like in um, Valentine's Day colors, like the pinks and I thought like pinks and like maybe burgundy, something like that. I don't know. I thought that would have been really pretty, like a hot pink. But I like it like this too. 
Um, how has business been going? Kendria, it's been going really good. Um, I've been really busy actually with like a lot of local orders and stuff. And it's weird because I get um like there's times when I don't get any local orders at all. And it's all like shipping, shipping, shipping. And then there's times when I don't get any orders, like online orders, but I get a lot of locals. So, but it's been really good lately. I've been pretty busy and blessed. Thank you so much to everyone. Like, I don't know how, I don't, I really don't know. Um, I never um, would have thought I would have been here, you know, where I am right now. So like, I never imagined this. I'm so grateful to everyone. Every now and then, though, you know, I like to craft for myself. You know, uh, I think it was Friday night when I was cutting this this heart out. Um, I had been cutting wood, you know, because I have a few orders that I needed to ship out this week. And, um, and I still hadn't even cut the, you know, cut my blanks or anything. So I was out there cutting wood. And when I was out there, I was like, you know what? I feel like doing something out of the ordinary, you know, and this, this is something that's not, um, this, this was, I felt like this was a good project that I could do, uh, while I was out there. And, um, it's something that's not, that I'm not used to making, you know, and I just wanted to be creative and do something different. So this was all entirely for me. I just, I felt like just crafting, you know, Sometimes I get in those kind of moods where it's like, um, like I just want to be creative and do something different. And so this was one of those projects that I just wanted to do. And I think it's looking pretty good. I was so tired that night though. It was like midnight and I was still out there. <laughs> but that's kind of when I get the most creative I feel, you know, um, at night or in the evenings during the day, it's like, you know, just do what I have to do and whatever. But then at night I like to kind of experiment and I get in my zone. I don't know if anybody else is like me, but I'm a night owl for real, and that's when I do my best work, I think. When it's, you know, when I get in my zone and I just do, you know, I just let myself get creative. I think I love it. It's my favorite time. Okay, I like that. I think I like that. Uh, what design is your biggest seller right now? Right now, um, actually, is uh, the Talavera pot. Um, I don't know why, but it's not even like a Valentine or a seasonal or anything. It's got like cactus on the top part. I don't know if you guys remember it, but um, it's like cactus on the top and then like the, the pot itself. I did like a Talavera um, inspired design on the pot. And that's been my biggest seller so far, like this past month or so. Um, I don't know why I've sold like, uh, I, like four or five at least of that, of that one. I've sold a few, you know, um, Valentine's designs and then you know, other random stuff, you know, but, um, my biggest, biggest seller has been that one that I've just been making, making, making.
Hi, Denison. Your life. Is that what that says? I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. Yes, I'm live today. Thank you for watching. He's watching from YouTube. I used to go live more often, but I kind of just stopped for a while. I don't know why, I just did. And um, so I felt like I needed to come on. I get in these little moods um, randomly, but like I said, I, sometimes I'm painting super, super late. And um, I know you guys don't want to watch me at midnight. <laughs> watch me live on at midnight, so... <laughs> So I don't go live. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my um, chip brush. This is um, just a regular old chip brush. And I'm, I'm putting a little bit of gray paint on it and kind of just dabbing it off. I want it really dry, like really, really dry because the gray, I'm not going to use a lot of the gray on here. And so... What I actually want to do first is I want to dry this, make sure this is dry. just going to take a little bit of gray paint and kind of, you know, dry brush a little bit of streaks on here. Not a whole lot, but, you know, just enough to kind of get a little bit of color going on in here. I know you guys all know how to do all this, so I'm not going to explain it, but I just kind of want to dirty it up just a little, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I like to go around my edges too with my, with my brush, just kind of, um, it kind of outlines a little bit on the outside without having to outline anything. adding a little bit of gray to some areas that are too light um, it I mean you just kind of use your imagination where you want this to go there's no right or wrong here Go. 
Hey, Crystal. How are you? Thank you guys for joining me today. I know it's Valentine's Day. I know some of you are probably at work right now, but um, I didn't want to, I was going to go late, live late, later and then I was like, oh no, wait, I can't do it today. <laughs> Everyone's going to be busy, I'm sure, today. So I decided to go ahead and do it now, earlier, get it over with and that way we can all go on about our day today anybody going on date night tonight I'm sure everybody pretty much is we don't do um, like anything big if we do anything at all it's usually just like a dinner somewhere but we really don't like um, going out and waiting and you know going going places where you have to sit and wait for a long time to get seated so we kind of try to avoid it we actually like to go do like a fast food place or something um, on Valentine's Day normally because um, usually if you want a romantic dinner <laughs> let me tell you all this tip maybe I shouldn't say it because then um, it's going to start getting oversaturated. But anyway, if you just go to um, like a fast food place, you're going to probably be alone in there. So <laughs> that's my tip to you. We do that. We have done that a lot, actually. And just go and sit there and there's no way you just kind of sit there alone. And it's actually pretty nice. You get to have a good conversation. Or you can cook at home, which... I don't really like to cook, so <laughs> uh, we'll be ordering uh, takeout to eat at home. Oh, yes, that's that's great. Uh, we're doing dinner at home. Good, Marie. Are you cooking? And Debbie, what type of wood are you using? Okay, Debbie, so um, I explained this at the beginning, but this wood is pieces of molding. They're just um, like scrap pieces that I had laying around um they they were random random sizes and um i knew i wanted to make some kind of wall art with them so i did um so i kind of put them together and saw what i what shape i could make and i felt like a heart would be um like i could get a heart out of them and um so that's what i did it's just pieces of molding and then i glued um well, before gluing them, I, I went around and I traced my shape and I cut them out uh, with my scroll saw, like each little piece. And then I went in, um, I cut out another piece of backer, uh, just like scrap backer board that I had laying around as well. And that's what I used for my back. Um, and then I kind of just used wood glue and I glued all the pieces to the backer board. And then I turned it around and I stapled my um, pieces from the back to the front. So these pieces right here are all stapled from the back. I'll show you that later. Once I'm done painting here. But that's what this is. It's just all scrap wood. Um, and so I just decided that I was going to make a little, um, just a wall hanging for my bedroom. It's, it's good to, to use up, you know, scraps that you have and just make something pretty out of them, you know, and, um, it reduces a, the amount of waste and you have free wall decor, you know, cause, um, these pieces, I think one of my friends uh, brought a whole bunch of scraps that he used at his um, when he was building his house. He just brought me a bunch of scraps that he had there. And um, of course, I can't say no to wood, you know, so I um, 
I had them there for a little while and they were just sitting there and Friday night I was feeling creative and I wanted to make something else other than um, door hangers. So I decided to sit there and look at my wood pile and, and create something. And this is what I came up with. So here I am today painting it with you guys. Okay, so I think that's pretty much, I'm gonna add another dark area over here since I put a dark spot over here. I'm gonna do another darker area. There, and maybe another one over here. I just kind of want to um, spread the 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 gray a little bit. I do like the way the two tone um, colors look, though. Okay, type of what are you using? Um, the hubby is making burgers. Yum, Marie. My husband, oh my gosh, guys, my husband made some ribs last night and they were so good. And I think we have leftovers. I mean, we, I know we have leftovers, so I think we might eat that tonight. I don't know, actually. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't have any plans for tonight. And like I said, we don't like to go to crowded restaurants, so we're probably not going to go anywhere. So we might eat that tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I should have known it would be for you <laughs> it is one of your favorite colors oh yeah definitely definitely this color is definitely one of my my favorite colors and of course this is my bed my uh, one of the accent colors in my bedroom uh my my bedspread and everything is like a dark charcoal gray like that um so it's very neutral but i do have accents with this color and so this is what i wanted to make with this so now what i want to add to this is a little bit of gold as well um not a lot and i'm using the same brush that's dirty i'm just kind of cleaning it off on the plate and i'm gonna do the same thing with my gold because i want a little bit of gold peeking through on some areas just a little though mainly just on the um where this the gray is i don't want to add too too much to it but um i like the i like the the shimmer of the gold with the rustic color you know with the rustic look I think it kind of glams it up just a little. And I also have some some little mirrors in my room that are actually um, pretty close to these colors. Um, very similar. And it's um, it's these colors and then it's got like the like the gold, um, like the raised parts of it. It's all with gold. And so I thought that would go really good with those. You know, it's part of my bedroom decor, so. So I really like this. What do y'all think? Uh, da, 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 da. Yep. What do y'all think so far? Y'all like it? I like it. I think it's really cute. like I said, it's just using scraps. I'll show y'all the back in a minute so y'all can see how, um, how I put it together. It's not fancy. It's, um, it's just, um, using the scraps that I had and I didn't have, um, I usually like to use my Brad nail, uh, my nailing, my nail gun, but, um, I didn't have any nails that were small enough. So I started with the Brad nails and I um, did a few, but they were coming out through the back. So what I was doing was I was snipping the tip off of them. Um, but then I decided that maybe um, it would be better if I just used like my regular staple gun. 
and I did that from the back side to the front. So um, it's extra secure. It's not going to come apart or anything, but yeah, I love this. I think it's so pretty. It's very pretty. I like everything you do. Oh, thank you, Maria. Love it. Love it. I like it. There we go. Okay. Let me put it up closer so you guys can see. I don't know if y'all can see the gold shimmer on there. See? It's not a lot. But it's just enough to kind of make it pop just a little. And I like it. I like that pop. I love it. Anyway. Okay, so let me dry this real quick. And then I will show you all the back again. So this is the back. The back is very, it's kind of ugly. It, it was a scrap piece. Here's all my staples. Here's where I was cutting out the, the brad nails from the underneath. I was just taking a, um, some wire cutters and cutting those out. Um, and then my hanger, like I said, I didn't have a hanger, like a proper wall hanger. Um, so what I did was I just um, twisted up a piece of, um, of wire and I stapled it to my back. It's not, it's very sturdy. It's not the prettiest, but it's going to work. I just made a loop and I um, kind of just twisted it and then I stapled it. So, okay. So my loop that I made, it was a bigger, a bigger loop. Um, and then what I did was I kind of twisted it. So I made like a number eight. And then, so the bottom little circle is what I stapled to my piece. And then the top little um, circle is what I'm going to use to hang. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think you can kind of see it there. See that? It's not the prettiest. And I may decide to paint my the back of mine um, later. I don't know. For now, I'm going to leave it like that. I did go ahead and paint on, you know, my edges and everything so that you can see um, when, you, when you hang it up on the wall, you can't see anything, you know, brown or any ugly color. But for now, this is it, guys. This is what I made. I really look, like my heart. I like it a lot. And I hope you guys make one of these. If you have anything, you know, any scraps, um, laying around just play with them and see what you can come up with um, I don't know I really like it this was a very short live so um, but I really really enjoyed coming on here and showing you guys something a little bit different than a door hanger um, hopefully you guys are all doing okay and hopefully you guys have a great amazing valentine's day tonight um but yeah so thank you so so much for joining me and i'll see you guys next time hey maybe maybe i will go live next week i'm thinking because i have a few i have like one or two um saint patrick's day designs i don't do a lot of saint patrick's but i do have a a few things that i um wanted to paint so I might do a live um, later on this week or maybe, yeah, maybe later on this week. I don't know. I'm not going to promise anything, but um, I'll be going live doing those probably soon. Okay. All right, guys.
I'll see y'all next time. Thank you. Bye.